Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today I'm going to be doing another retro react. It's what I decided to call it. Um, I'm going to react to my first ever reaction to Red Velvet. Um, it's been a minute since I've reacted to Red Velvet on the channel. I apologize. I just realized I didn't even have a Red Velvet playlist. Um, <laughs> So Rev Loves, I'm sorry, you've been neglected. Um, I created a Red Velvet playlist. I put all of my previous reactions there. I'm putting this video there, and uh, I have another Red Velvet reaction coming out uh, next week, I think, or maybe this weekend. It just depends. So yeah, I think I'm going to do my first two reactions because, uh, sorry for the pause, I edited out a burp. Uh, I'm drinking a lot of Diet Coke today. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do my first two reactions uh, to, because they're short. Like the first video was only 12 minutes. The second video was only 14 minutes. I probably, I'm going to do both of them uh, because I reacted to Psycho, Happiness, Russian Roulette, and Oompa Oompa. And I love all of those songs. I want an excuse to listen to them again and tell you what... Austin in 2021 thinks about those songs as opposed to Austin in 2020. If I'm being honest with you, I don't remember my initial reaction. I don't remember if I loved it or if I didn't like it or if I thought it was okay. So, and I haven't watched the reactions since then. So this is going to be really interesting, really exciting. Um, I think Red Velvet is one of those groups I was kind of slow to warm up to. I think I liked them. But I'm looking at my playlist, and I didn't fall in love with them until Dum Dum and Automatic. So, like, it took three or four reactions for me to be like, okay, they don't have any bad songs. And now I love them. I just don't react to them as much as I should. So I apologize. Anyway, I'm excited. If you're new, consider subscribing. Check out my new Red Velvet playlist. And, uh, yeah, this should be fun. Um be nice to me in the comments. Uh, I usually am pretty hard on myself in these retro reacts, but it's also so much fun for me to just drag myself. And uh, I just did laundry, so I've got white fuzzies because I mixed this with the towels. Okay, anyway, you don't care. Let's go. <laughs> Whew, all right, this is going to suck. <laughs> so there's your warning. I was on the green couch. I had the fake Amazon wallpaper behind me my skin I was using the beauty filter thing so that my skin was just <laughs> fake and uh my laptop screen is in the frame so uh, we love that uh I know the way I reacted just a disclaimer the way that I reacted back then is completely different to how I react now I feel like I was probably I'm probably going to be pretty boring in this reaction so Hopefully my reaction to me makes this video a bit more interesting. But yeah, let's just go. Let's see what this dummy says. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name Hi. is Austin. I am a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. Okay, but I for real, I kind of like my hair. It was swooped like on the other side. I don't like the way that it was styled there, but I kind of like the length. I might go back to that, but maybe just like a tad bit longer. And then I might be able to do like some beach waves or something for some texture. I'm starting to feel adventurous with my hair again. And uh, yeah, this this wasn't a good look. I studied vocal performance and songwriting at Berklee College of Music. And yep. on this channel, I react to music, music videos, K-pop, and um, <laughs> pretty much just stan any group that I See how I'm uncomfortable I was? Like I'm shifting awkwardly. Pop and... Um, <laughs> That or like I farted or something. I don't know, but like it's an awkward shift. Music, music videos, K-pop, and um, <laughs> pretty much just stan any group that I fall awkward. in love with. Mostly girl groups at the moment. This is just a girl power channel. <laughs> um, I've gotten a <laughs> that did not age well. <laughs> at the moment, this is just a girl power channel. Until I met EXO, and then it, and I'm so sorry. People who originally subscribed on my channel because it was a girl power channel. They probably all already unsubscribed, but I, I'm so sorry. I'm going through a boy group moment type deal, but I'm starting to react to more girl groups and I'm starting to react to Mamamoo again. I'm going to react to more Red Velvet. It, it's coming. Um, I've gotten a couple, actually a lot of requests uh, to check out Red Velvet because um, as a vocal teacher, that's 
what I specialize in is good <sighs> voices. And I was told that they are one of the better vocalists. Groups. I'm such a liar too. Like I wasn't a vocal teacher. Like I didn't have any vocal students at that time. <laughs> so like, man, I do have a music. Like I did go to college for music. I did study vocal performance and I have experience in vocal coaching and teaching people how to sing, especially like younger people kids and stuff like when you go to college that's part of the vocal performance is like teaching people and like doing it for so many hours and stuff so like yes vocal coach term does apply but at this time i didn't have any students so like in k-pop so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look at their debut music video which i believe is called happiness happiness and i'm gonna look at their most recent um music video which is called psycho so i psycho. can kind of see where they started and where they're at now. Those are not um, good. And I'll give you my opinion. Those are not the best song choices for like your first time reacting, I feel like. What would I recommend? I think I would recommend Bad Boy and uh, something else. <laughs> I don't think I would pick Psycho and Happiness for my first reaction. I think I would do Bad Boy and... Um, I don't know, maybe like really bad boy. I just love those two songs. And I'm, I'll talk about the vocals a little bit. It's a little bit harder when it's a music video because the vocals are obviously going to be processed and not live. Okay, um, we know. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because who knows if I love Red Velvet, maybe I'll stand them and fall into. Oh, the I didn't even have like a subscribe like animation. Twenty plus videos about them. Like I, I think have I've got thirty five. And like I'm doing with Mama Moose. Yeah, so I would love to have you here. Let's get started. Okay, so this is my first time listening to anything Red Velvet has ever done. All right. Uh, this song came out in 2014. It's their debut. So let's go. Let, let's see what it sounds like. I was like. nervous. I'm always nervous when it's my first time listening. Seems like this is going to be like a tropical vibe. You've you got to be bold. <laughs> okay. That's kind of weird. Happiness. Nice harmonies. Hey. Get it, Irene. Okay. So I guess she's a rapper. Hey. So do they have four members? Hi, Joy. There's yeah, Yeri. Kind of got like a <laughs> gummy bear Yeri. Hip hop, tropical bot. Oh my gosh, it's a bear! <laughs> I loved that bear. The bear's cute. Sogi. This is unique. Ugh. I didn't yeah, know what I was reacting cool. to. I think I was probably overwhelmed. Yeah. You just got to like, dance. I don't know how to classify this. It's Red Velvet. Shut up. There we go. Happiness. There's the tropical vibe. I always emphasize. I always say happiness <laughs> instead of happiness. I don't know why. It just always comes out penis, which... Super catchy. Yes. Because there's not really any lyrics. It's just... I love that bear. Rapper Joy, let's go. Hey. Hey. So far, the two girls rapping sound really similar. Quit being shady. Shut up. <laughs> so I'm not sure about that. Sogi. Oh. Hold on, let me listen to that again, her voice. Yes, she deserves another listen. So far, her voice is my favorite. Yes! Her voice is so unique. Let me know who she is, the one laying in the grass. Kang Solgi. I love that bear. <laughs> I think I actually hated this song because I just kept talking about how cute the bear was. I like that. The rap kind of, they're like singing, but they're also I rapping. I love this song like now. A nice cadence to hey. it. Hey. 
Uh, I miss Rapper Joy. It's kind of cutesy, but I don't know. It works. Hey, and then the chorus drops and you just want to dance. I feel like I was super boring. Get it, Wendy. Vocals. That's Ooh. very high. <laughs> That's very high. That's See, I need to go and edit this title because it says vocal coach listens to Red Velvet. <laughs> No vocal coaching has been done. I didn't talk about vocal technique. I didn't talk about style, tone, pitch, delivery. Like, that's very high, girl. <laughs> that's not a vocal analysis. That's very high. <laughs> Hold on. How many people watch this video? Hold on. Oh, my, 93,000. Okay, so... <laughs> To the 93,000 people that watched this, I'm sorry. I'm going to change this title to just reacting to Red Velvet for the first time. Uh, I'm going to take the vocal coach out of the title because that seems like it was probably just for clicks, which is shady. But that was like the very beginning of my channel. So we can be introspective. We can be honest now in 2021. Um man only 52 dislikes though like that's pretty good like to dislike ratio and i liked the video myself so <laughs> gotta be your number one supporter you and your mom so <laughs> you're not gonna talk about wendy's amazing vocals yeah her voice is interesting oh that was very high oh i didn't like wendy's voice her voice is interesting that sucks. Her voice is interesting. Do you know what interesting means? <laughs> yeah, Pam, your lasagna was very interesting. Interesting is just like white people slang for bad. I didn't like it. It. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a very interesting proposal, Tom. We'll make sure we'll, we'll look it over with the boss. How did I not love Wendy's voice? Shut up. That was very high. Hey! I like how they bended the pitch there. I'd have to hear her sing again. Her voice was definitely interesting. I think I was just super depressed. Not in a bad way. I wasn't ready for the happiness. I was still depressed. Oh my gosh, the bear was my favorite part. <laughs> See, he hated the song. If the bear was well, his favorite part, I didn't talk about the song at all. I didn't talk about, like, the structure of the song. Like, what did I like about the song? The chorus? Like, did I like the... I just bobbed my head and said, oh, that's high. Oh, her voice is cool. Yeah. I This reaction was just, like, void of any... <laughs> There was nothing. There was no content. It was just me watching the video, which I guess is what a reaction is. But, like, it was boring. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. Wait, what are my recommendations? My recommendations are Psycho Rev Festival. That's a great performance. Um, RVA, Vocal Coach Reacts to Red Velvet Psycho. I love RVA, Rebecca Vocal Athlete. If you don't know her channel, go. She, like, talks about vocal stuff. She's, like, an actual, um, like, practicing vocal coach that has, like, tons of clients. And uh, an Amberlynn Reed <laughs> reaction channel. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty on brand for me in 2021 still. So, good job. And Twitter. That was Happiness um, by Red Velvet. First time ever hearing them. Um, you know, I didn't know what to expect because, you know. I still don't. Red Velvet groups, never is the same. Cutesy, um, you know, cutesy type debuts. And that was borderline. It was very sweet. You know, there was the little like gummy bear guy running around. That it was, was Yeri. <laughs> kind of cutesy, but not like not obnoxious because uh, the music and the song itself had that tropical vibe and like the hip hop. Okay. So did in, you so... like the song or not? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'd listen to it again. Um, I am excited to see what this is. 
Psycho. Um, Red Velvet Psycho. I'm excited to see what their newest video so is. So I guess um, I hated Happiness when I first listened to it. I'm sorry. Their um, their style has changed. Um, I think I just had to burp there, too. Like, I've always... <laughs> It's not good to drink Diet Coke, period, but especially, like, not while you're filming. Or, um, their style has changed. Um, yeah, if this is their newest release, it came out in 2019, in December, so they should be having a comeback, I guess. Oh, uh, that hurts. Anyway, they didn't. It was, like, song. two years later. Man. Well, I mean, it was, like, a year later, but... Yeah, I know. It was, like, two years after Psycho. He didn't know what he meant. He didn't mean to offend you, Rob Loves. I'm sorry. SM hates Red Velvet. Right away, this looks darker. Sogi. Is that the same girl that did the high note on the last one? Which, are you talking about Sogi or Wendy? Irene. Yeah. I didn't even notice there was another girl there. I like her voice. Hold on, I didn't even notice it went from four to five members. That's Yeri. You're biased. You love her. She's your favorite. Joy with the hair. Yeah, this definitely feels a little bit more mature. Wait, how did I not even notice that there were five members this time and only four members? I truly didn't care or didn't notice. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wendy with the visual. Oh, interesting melody. Oh. Hold on, you're not even going to be like a little bit bisexual for Red Velvet? <laughs> like, I didn't talk about their visuals at all. And Wendy looks this good. And these outfits, man. Man, how do I not talk about their visuals? Everyone is like a little bit hot for red velvet because like look sure. at them Ugh, Wendy. oh interesting melody interesting melody another again the word interesting <laughs> i was <laughs> such a bitch forgot the captions sorry i forgot the captions you didn't read them anyway it's fine Oh, trying to sing along already. Love okay, that. this is definitely catchier. I like this song better than the first one. Hmm. Which is funny because I think I like Happiness better than Psycho now. Happiness is a freaking bop. Hey, regional visual. Uh. Hey. Yeri. Oh, yeah, she's the one who I keep saying I like her voice. I was a Solgi stan, wasn't I? That's so sad. I feel like I don't talk about Solgi enough now. I need to react to more like Solgi stuff because obviously I love her voice. I have since day one. Oh, the corset, Wendy. Yeah, this is pretty dramatic. <sighs> I love the style though. Like the video is very artistic. You're not gonna talk about the body rolls? Come on! Hey! The vocals are better than most of girl groups. Oh? Quit being shady now. You're not lying, but quit being shady. Don't compare them to other girl groups. He said their vocals are better like than most other girl groups. Two lead, or two main vocalists and two rapper singers. There's five of everything. It's Red Velvet. Yeah, she's my favorite with the short hair. Wait, Sulgi again? Yeah, she's my favorite with the short hair. I really had a crush on Sulgi, didn't I? Let me know if that's the same girl that was laying in the grass in the first video. It is. Yeah. I recognized her, which is very rare. I'm bad at recognizing faces, but I guess I loved Solgi. I still do, but I guess she made a big first impression on me. All right. 
Wow. This makes sense. This makes sense because I think after I reacted to this, I got a ton of comments because I was mostly reacting to uh, Dreamcatcher and Mamamoo at this time. I got a ton of comments like, react to Moonbeal's song with Solgi. And I did and I didn't like it. Which, again, I think I was just like really depressed back then. I didn't like anything. <laughs> like all of my reactions were just kind of like this. Which is such a shame. Like, that's my advice to any, like, anybody who wants to be a reactor and, like, make videos. Just post. Just keep going. You're probably going to look back a year later and um, you're probably going to hate your original videos. And that's totally fine. People change. <sighs> I wonder if there's anyone who actually prefer my old reactions over like me being more energetic and more loud and more authentic now like this is like the way I react now is much closer to my actual real personality like off camera my real personality off camera is probably a bit more offensive <laughs> and a bit more loud and just like crass and crude um on camera, I, of course, always try to be as respectful and everything as possible. In general, I try to be as respectful as possible on camera or off camera. But, like, this is a completely different person. I don't know who he is. He's, like, a robot. That's smart. There's a lot of English in this song. With bad hair. Oh, We're a little psycho. weird. Psycho. Oh, okay. he should have clicked Irene and Solgi Monster. Good. I should have. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. What was my Twitter? Okay. See, that here's another good. pro tip to reactors. When you're recording your screen, don't do that. Because I just showed everything that was on my Twitter, which is just me saying, bleh, sorry about my ramblings. I don't know what that was about. And uh, Kendall Ray, which is a true crime YouTuber. <laughs> Love her. So... What's my first impression of Red Velvet? It's okay. You um, didn't like it. They're unique. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a specific concept because Psycho was definitely different than the first song that I listened to. Red Velvet is um, the concept. Happiness, I think, was the name of it. Um, I did like Psycho better. Um, I think it was more unique, more original, and um, I... the, the girls' voices had matured. The vocals were definitely better in the second one. I will agree that I think Psycho is a more interesting song, whereas Happiness is a little bit more of just like a standard pop song. I will agree with that. Um, but yeah, it was really interesting. I'm not sure if I'm like in love with it. Um, yeah, that's okay. But it was interesting enough to make me curious. Like, I want to go watch some of their other stuff. I want to yes. see how they sing live. Um, because that's just my eyes got are kind of red, too. Like, I must have been tired. Girls? This is kind of weird. Kind of psycho. <laughs> oh, Sorry. he tried to make um, a joke. Yeah, it didn't know. Um, so let me know. That was some questions. I love kind of meeting new fans, meeting the new fandoms. Let me know what the fandom is called. Um, let me Rev know the names, especially the one that I really liked her voice. Silky. Um, they might have been two different girls, but I liked the girl laying in the grass in the first one. Yeah. And I liked the girl with the short um, kind of wavy hair. That's the same girl. Um, That's Silky. And then uh, the other girl that was singing most of the higher notes, her voice was kind of weird. Oh, um, shady. A Winnie's way. a vocal queen. Very, Piercing. I don't know. It sounded like an instrument, like a horn. Yeah, her voice um, is piercing. It was very kind of brassy. Um, so I would be interested to see how they sound. Shade. Um, I'm surprised the Windy Stands didn't come for me and try to cancel me. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Who Ooh, knows? Maybe he I'll said subscribe twice. He was and, desperate. Uh, become obsessed like I am with Mama. Okay, we're done with him. Uh, I'm going to watch my next reaction because that was honestly boring. And um, I know you guys like longer videos. So let's just keep dragging Sir Austin. Um, I stand by some of what I said in that reaction. But like, obviously me in 2021 and me in... I'm s me in... <laughs> 2020 are completely different people sorry like my ocd is kicking in and the i didn't get all the fuzzies off of my and it's really bugging me um but yeah like i want to go to my second <laughs> 
I want to go to my second, sorry. I want to go to my second Red Velvet reaction and see what I thought on my second one. Hopefully I was in a better mood because like, this is kind of depressing. I was really sad. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. We've upgraded. My next video is called Falling in Love with Red Velvet, Russian Roulette, and Oompa Oompa Reaction. And this was the Sir Austin green screen phase with the uh, random lamp shade behind him. So, uh, yeah, I love both of these songs. Oh, my gosh. But I wonder what I thought about the Russian Roulette music video, because, like, Aren't they like trying to, yeah, they're killing each other and stuff. I think it's about time I take another look at Red Velvet. Ugh, hey, oh, stupid dramatic intro. Hold on. So October 28th was the Falling in Love video. And the first one was September 26th. So it took me like a month to react to them again. So... I was definitely apprehensive, let's just say that. Welcome back to my channel, my name is Austin. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. I studied vocal performance and songwriting. See, at this Berkeley looks a little College better, the music. angle's a little and bit this better. this is my second video on Red Velvet. Um, I think about a month ago, I listened to Psycho and I think the Happy, audio's a little bit. And I actually liked Happiness, okay? You didn't even remember the name of the song. Um, I think about a month ago, I listened to Psycho and Happy, and I actually liked both of those songs quite a bit. Um, Did you? Because you didn't remember the I name of it. I don't know. For whatever reason, I didn't look at anything else by them. I got All men lie. I got Mamamoo and became obsessed. Um, yeah, you did. But I'm ready. Okay. I have some free time. Um, I want to take a look at a couple more songs by Red Velvet so I can learn more about their voices. And... Um, see if it's a group that I'm going to fall in love with or not. I remember, yeah, you did. Um, I think her name was Selgi. Selgi. I think that was the one I really liked. Yeah. Um, and then the one I wasn't sure about, I think her name was Wendy. I think, I think her voice was very unique and it just caught me off guard because her tone was so unique. Day two um, of shading I'm Wendy. I'm give them another listen today. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I post new videos every day and who knows, I might be standing red velvet after this video. Ugh. Let's go. All right, let's go. This is the most requested song called Russian Roulette from Red Velvet. Um, he better like Wendy's vocals here. Oh, oh, this song. Ugh. Hi, Wendy. Sounds like it's going to be a bop. It is. Okay. Joy. Ooh. Yeri! Oh, she's oh. so pretty. Watch me not even recognize okay, so Solgi when she's quick. allegedly my um, favorite. She's my favorite so far ah! with the dark red hair. Yes. Okay. This was the start of me falling in love with Yeri, who to this day is still my favorite. She's my favorite so far. Good job. With the dark red hair. Yeah, we love her. And then she's my second favorite. Ooh, so Irene. Those two girls' names. Okay. I like their tones the best. Interesting. I have good taste. And that doesn't mean that I think they're the best singers. Oh, bitch, what? <laughs> Why can't you just give them a compliment? Why you got to do that backhanded? That's something I'm still working on. Like, there doesn't always have to be a but, okay? Sorry, that doesn't mean I think they're the best singers. That just means that's my personal preference. Um, okay. You can be an incredible singer and use 100% amazing, perfect technique and someone can hear it and just be like, yeah, that doesn't, I don't like that. And that's, that's true. totally fine. That's, that's totally true. valid. People have different um, preferences. And I will say that so far, I think I like all of their voices. Um, I just prefer a little bit darker voices and a little bit more, I don't know, like mellow voices. And you prefer two... darker voices and mellow voices, but you just said that Yeri's voice, which is not dark or mellow, is your favorite. 
I do like dark, mellow voices, which is why I loved Solgi's voice in the first reaction. But I also like cute and melodic and... Clearly, clearly I am just a contradiction because girls in red, they seemed, um, their voices were a little bit darker. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, her voice is very bright and the yellow. Joy, okay. Which is good, you need balance. Joy's voice is She's actually more nasal. Favorite. Who is that? The red hair. Oh no. Oh, Wendy's hair. Oh. Jerk. <laughs> Pushing my girl into the pool. Oh, I was already calling her my girl. Love this. I wish I had lyrics for this. Yeah, SM sucks. Yep, super catchy. Yes. This is the moment, I think. This is my favorite Red Velvet song so Ooh, far. He said it. So far, it's only the third one, but... I do prefer the red What can I say? Concept. I like Bops. Okay. Yeah, we do. She's interesting, too, with the orange hair. Wait, wait, wait. Let me rewind. Who's the orange hair? What can I say? I like Bops, okay? She's interesting too That's with the orange hair. Solgi, the one that you loved allegedly. No, no, ma'am. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> that was genuine shock. I was shook. I remember thinking WTF. They are psychos. I see why they <laughs> made that song now. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Um, I know you guys don't like it when I compare groups, but oh no, this is definitely reminding me of CLC's Devil oh. music video and that they're like sabotaging each other. And I know what Russian Roulette is. I understand the concept. Yeah. Um, it's dangerous. It's usually like a mob thing. <laughs> um, okay, I, I was starting no to become video, so. more comfortable. Maybe I'm watching. I'm wa I'm watching on like the SM Town video uh, channel or whatever. I think that's their label. Um, oh, he didn't even know what SM but, was. Oh, and now I'm an SM ambassador. The growth. I know if Red Velvet has their own channel that actually has captions on it, but I love this song so far. It's a bop. It's my favorite Red Velvet song, and I'm not even all the way finished with it. But it's catchy. This it's is before Girls' Generation. This is before EXO reactions. This is before Shiny reactions. Man, this is like the start of my channel. I was like a month or two in at this point. I upgraded my gear and stuff pretty quickly. I, I spent a lot of money <laughs> buying stuff and then buying more stuff. And then I think I went through like three cameras. Although I just got this new camera like two months ago. So <sighs> the vocals are good. But they're not really doing anything too vocally challenging. I haven't heard anything like, oh my gosh, this is See, impressive. why do I do? Why did he do that? I don't think I do that anymore. But like, why can't I just say, why didn't I just say the vocals are good? I had to say the vocals are good, but there's nothing that challenging. Like, why do you got to do that? I would have disliked this video, honestly. I dislike a lot of reactions. <laughs> Sorry, other reactors. Um, I don't dislike my friends' reactions, like uh, Fifi Zappa or Caitlin Benson or the other Caitlin or Say What Reacts or Renari or... Uh, Cherry Reacts or K-Pop Prince. Like, I talk to all of those people all the time, and I love all of their channels. Um, but I also watch a lot of reactions because I genuinely am a fan of K-Pop, and I love these songs, and I want... I also don't have any friends. So, like, I want to see what other people... Oh, and also K-Twins Reacts. Hey, girls. Um, I also want to see what other people thought about my favorite songs. And yeah, I do get disappointed when someone has like a meh reaction to one of my favorite songs. I'm not crazy. I'm not going to tell them they're stupid or they're ugly or they're fat or like comments that I get because y'all are crazy. Um, but yeah, I'll be disappointed if someone doesn't like a song that I like, but that's their opinion. It doesn't affect me. It just makes me sad for like two seconds and then I'm over it and I watch a reaction to someone who doesn't suck. All right. <laughs> 
if they're not really doing anything too vocally challenging. I haven't heard anything like, oh my gosh, this is impressive yet, but it's their vocals are relaxed and it sounds good. See, I was trying not to offend anybody, but also like play and both most sides. most importantly, it's catchy and it gets stuck in your head. Yes. Russian roulette. Oh, tennis player. Oh man, this video's. They need to calm down. Yeah, this video. Stop trying to murder each other. Yeah. I was starting to kind of come out of my shell. Okay, they're shooting. Right. Cute. Oh, I should have done Red Flavor okay. next because that, was that great. song. Let me know oh. who Red Hair is. Let me know who Purp not Purple, Yeri. Pink Hair is. And let me Irene. know who Orange Hair is because Solgi. those were my three favorites in that order. Um, Man, you're still hating on I Wendy. Once you get into a group, you it's okay to stand and to have biases. I love and Wendy like that, for the record. Her to appreciate like the water in the group oh. and all that. I get that, but those are the three that stood out to me the most. So. Which is so funny because out of all of them, I think Wendy's personality is my favorite. I love Wendy's personality. I'm probably the most like Wendy um, or Yeri. One of those two, just like dumb and weird and crazy and like inappropriate. Probably more like Wendy. Although I'm not like super flirty. I am cheesy though, like Wendy. I'm a mixture. I, I, I'm myself, obviously, but I can see myself. I like Wendy a lot. I just don't know why I wasn't recognizing her back then. Let's go. Moving on. Okay, so the last okay. one I'm going to react to today is called Umpa 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 or Umpa Umpa, something like that. Umpa Loompa. Um, we're going to react to that mix. <sighs> now, this right man now. is not funny. Oompa, oompa. Yes. Okay. Can we talk about how beautiful Finally. Girl is? Who is the steering wheel? That's Who Irene. That? That's What's Irene. Her name? Original Why visual. Why is she so beautiful? What's going on? Oompa, oompa. Irene is beautiful. Oh. Joy with the cowboy hat. I was not expecting that beat. Oh, oh nice vibrato. Solgi, yes. Oh, don't run over the turtle. Ooh. Yeri! Her voice is very bright and pretty. Oh, really? Because you just said her voice was dark in the last reaction. You obviously don't know what you're talking about. Her voice is bright and very beautiful and kind of like Disney princess. Her voice is very bright and pretty. There's my favorite. Really? I've said they're all my favorite except for Joy and Wendy. Wait, is that Irene? <laughs> I feel like I know... Irene is like the leader of the group, I think. And yeah. Then there's Selgi. Yeah. And then Wendy. Those are the only three I know. But okay, but you don't know the Wendy. The girl I keep saying is beautiful, and the girl I keep saying I like her voice. I think that might be Irene. Oh. <laughs> Watch in the comments. You are wrong. <laughs> Let me know. The comments will tell you that. Yes. Ooh! I think I just refer to them by the color of their swimsuit from here on out. This is a bop too! Oompa, oompa. Oompa, oompa. Yes! Oompa, oompa. Red Velvet does make you sing along. Maybe I like all of them. You do, shut up. <laughs> Troy is so beautiful. With the beat drop, A. Hey. Ooh, that Ooh. run! Who just did that? Who just did that little run in the I background? I think that was Wendy. 
Did you hear that? That was Wendy. Agility? Yeah, that was Wendy. You said you hated her. I like her a lot too. Who? Which one? Stop. I like her a lot too. Yeah, yeah she's your vibes. I like her too. Ice cream cake. This video is just vocal coach falls in love with all five members. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, except. She's the only one I'm not sure of, and I have a feeling that's Wendy. And oh my god, you're so rude. In the comments before. Good, they should have given you crap. You were mean to her in the last video. And I have a feeling that's Wendy, and people gave me crap in the comments before. <laughs> Because of, I said, oh, her voice is weird or something like that. And I just need to say that. Oh, an apology? It's a personal preference thing. Oh, is that my first like public voices, apology? Like light Listen, I've been canceled so many times for stuff that I said. At this point, I just don't care anymore. But, like, why? Wendy is like, all right, sorry, I don't want to offend anybody, but Wendy, in my opinion, opinion is the best vocalist in red velvet her voice is amazing her technique is amazing i just wasn't sure about her tone in these songs okay wendy's like water is one of the most beautiful albums i have ever heard so this man just didn't know what the hell he was talking about it's a personal preference thing. And they should have some canceled like you, honestly. Voices. Some people like light voices. Some people like dramatic voices. And her voice, whoever this is who's singing, her voice just has a very distinct... Yeah, and she's the same person who just did that run that you were all talking about how amazing her agility was. He's stupid. Oh. Uh, sulky, it's so very pretty. forward and it's very almost nasal, but her technique is really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. It's Wait, just, are you talking about know. Sulky? Maybe it's very forward. Now I'm hating on Sulky's voice, which is the one whose voice I loved and all. Man, I am an inconsistent mess. I should have reacted to a guide before I went any further, so I actually knew what I was talking about. It's very forward and it's very almost nasal, but her technique is really good. Sulky um, has good technique, yes. Yeah, maybe it's just, I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch them perform live and that'll give me a better idea. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, whoever's doing those background vocals is killing it though. It's the girl you just said you hated. And nasal, singing nasal is not a bad thing. Good job. For the record. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Where you place your voice it just depends on the style you're looking for. If you place it forward and more nasal and that works for that song, great. If you place it more back and in the throat, that's fine. As long as you're singing healthy, you can place your voice wherever you want. I feel like the word nasal gets a bad rep and people think it's an insult. It's not an insult. Oompa, oompa, oompa. Oompa, oompa, oompa. oompa. Oh, we did like it at the same time. Oh my gosh. Thousands club hit. Let's see if you like her voice now. Okay, I hear you. Beautiful. Yes. There it is. Take us to church. Hey, hey. I think all of their voices just come together and they work well together. Yep, they're red velvet. Look at Joy. The green swimsuit is my favorite. Oh, now Joy's your favorite, really? I was just strictly talking about visuals there, I'm sure of it, because she looks good in that swimsuit. Well together. But green swimsuit is my favorite. He, you've said all of them are your favorite at some point. Oompa, oompa. 
A. With Ooh, the beach Ooh. Your rainbow earrings. Yes. LGBT queen. Yes, that's our Yeri. Yeri, Joy, all Olive Red Velvet good. loves the gays. We stan. Ooh. We stan. Okay, final thoughts. <sighs> okay, what do you think? Red Velvet bops. Yes. I don't know if these were older songs or newer songs, but these two songs I listened to today were bops. Yes. The happy song. I don't know. Maybe you still don't know the name. It's called the happiness. It, it didn't. Yes. Like I can't even remember what it sounds like. So that's not a good thing. And mm. then psycho. Yes. I still remember what that sounds like. It was definitely more weird and more experimental mm -hmm. than these two songs. These two songs were like perfect pop yep. hits. Mm -hmm. These two songs were definitely more accessible for someone who's never heard. It was red the red, red concept. Yes. You hear the vocals, but at the same time, it's catchy. It's familiar. And, and you know what? You I don't think I, I'm I'm done with him. He's stupid. Um, <laughs> I don't think I liked automatic either. I don't think I liked automatic either. I just don't think I liked the velvet concept, which is totally fine. There's not very many like. I feel like there's more like velvet stands than red stands, and even less red velvet stands that just love everything. I think that's okay, just to prefer some songs more than other songs. Um. That was, a, I liked that. This was fun. Uh, just know that like when I say he's stupid, I hate him. Like I'm, I'm just giving myself a hard time. I'm being fun. I'm being playful. I have a lot of confidence now. Like I'm not just being mean to myself. Like I have self-love. It's fine. But I do also get mad by the comments I made in the past because like, I didn't know what I was talking about. I didn't take the time to actually learn more about the group before I just reacted to them. And so some of the things I said were stupid and they didn't age well. And you're not going to stand every single group. That's fine. I didn't know I was going to end up standing Red Velvet. Same thing happened with Girls' Generation. So watching the older reactions are kind of cringe. Um, I don't know why any Rev Loves kept recommending stuff and kept commenting because I was like, I'm pretty sure I was a Wendy hater. Like, I don't know what it was. Every time she sang, I was like, oh, that's gorgeous. Wow, that run is amazing. But then every time she would come on the screen, I would just... Be... I didn't know anything about them. Didn't know any of Wendy's struggles she went through. Didn't know anything about the group. And now I know that Wendy is one of the best vocalists in K-pop. So the growth, we love it. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I hope you don't cancel me for anything I said in the past. <laughs> I hope this video is, um, I hope I am forgiven for what I have said. Amen. Thank you. I love you. Rev loves. Uh, I'm going to be reacting to some more Red Velvet stuff. I've actually started recording another Red Velvet video already. So keep an eye out for that. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a surprise, but I will see you later. Bye.